Alright, hey YouTube, this is Beats All God, and we're gonna be doing the uh, last two shootings in a little bit. So, but right now, this is the one of the shootings. This time, it's gonna be doing of the MP. You know, or MP, yeah, Smith and Wesson. I was thinking of the name, I didn't really remember it. Uh, non blowback gas pistol. Alright, this is not green gas, this is CO2. Uh, Sides, do a little quick, you know, examination of the gun. Non blowback, so there's no moving parts on the outside. We have a textured uh, where your palm will go right here, back to the bottom of your thumb, fingers, and then mag release textured. Uh, we have a little bit of grooving right here where the slide would move if it was a blowback. Three dotted sights, two back, one front. Mm, these don't work. Like these really don't work. These are just for show, but you know, give you the detail. Your safety, which is right now it is on safety. For the like, down is safety, up is non safety. Again, no orange tip, just stock like that. Small railing for flashlight lasers, even a foregrip if you want to, if you really roll that way. Plastic construction. It's not not a really bad plastic, but still, like you know, not like you know something special, but give that comfortable feel to it. Very lightweight, but heavier in the front for that balance. You have a little thumb indent right here, so when you're shooting it like this, if you're right-handed, got a little thumb indent. And if you're left-handed, also another thumb indent right here. Works just fine. Uh, you have your cutout port, which is again non like it's not separated. It's just like you know, a little indented again. Uh, and uh, yeah, got this little piece right here for even with the mag. So I already have a mag loaded right here. I'm just gonna slide it in. So that's it. And normally now now it's more weighted in the back. You know, kind of goes with the front too. Again, non blowback does not move, but it has a little slight, a little slight movement if you push it back enough. You know, put force on it. So I'm gonna go move in the target on the box. Oh, that's my M4, by the way. I put it into like a DMR type style. So I'm gonna move that in a second. That's all that. It's kind of heavy with all that stuff on it, though. Just mix this up a little bit and Let's see here. Right there. So I know there's a lot of shots already on it, but that's no big deal, right? That some light there. Just a little bit. Right. So we're just gonna basically tell you what it sounds like. So that's the gun right here. So I had to zoom it in so it's a little different. I'm gonna go off safety. And uh, from this side right here. Now, because I haven't shot in a while, it has the, uh, you know, the, the little gas blow. So let's see, there we go. Now we're gonna go from this angle right here. So right here, it's kind of from the camera angle, so weird. See, it is lining up with the shots when you get down to it, but here non blowback so when you shoot it it does not move at all see what you do that's my arm shaking by the way it's something I don't, I don't know it's just more tired and then um so yeah that's about it we're not gonna shoot the full mag but this gun's shooting at about three, a little bit like 360 FPS with a new cartridge, and as the cartridge wears out, the FPS goes lower. So the shots were on target from about five feet away because I was zoomed in, and uh, maybe a little bit less than five feet actually. But the next shooting we're gonna be doing is well, let me actually zoom out. You know what I mean? So yeah, the next shooting we're gonna be doing is with the big boy, this big one right here. The next shooting we're going to be doing is with the Ignite Black Ops BB pistol. That's for later. I have it already loaded up, so we're going to do a little... It's dry right now. It's dry firing, but let's check it out. So, yes. That's it, and it's, it's pretty loud. It's a deep sound compared to everything else. But, yeah, that's it. Like, share, subscribe. Share, yeah, sub to my friends. At you know, Talks and Shadow, Unique Rap Projects, and Rip City Gaming. You know, they're the sponsors, they do a lot, they help me out a lot. 
and um, same thing to me comment your like give me feedback and yeah we'll get to you shortly with the next one